Hi, please kindly subscribe to this channel, One for All News, for the best analysis on politics, crime, security, and historical facts. Let us go back to South Africa to look at the development on the case involving Tabo Besta and his girlfriend, Dr. Nadipa. Both Tabo Besta and his girlfriend, Dr. Nadipa, were taken to court last week for the trial processes to begin. Dr. Nadipa was taken to court first on arrival with her father and one other accomplice. She was charged with murder, conspiracy, and aiding a criminal to escape from prison. This is a very serious crime in South Africa because South Africa seems to be witnessing a lot of jailbreaks and prison escapes. Now let us look at the background to this whole story. She was alleged to be the one that went to a mortuary and claimed three dead bodies and said one was her father who is still alive and probably standing trial with him. And the second one, her brother, who is also still alive, and the third one, another relative. And it is alleged that those bodies were used in the fire that they allegedly set to Bester's cell, and they bent for everyone to believe that Bester died and was bent in the fire for him to have a safe escape. But later discoveries allege that some of the bodies, or one body, was also found in a river nearby the prison. A lot of complications with this whole story. But let us see how everything will play out in court of law for us to see. She was visibly looking sad with some level of regrets, but I'm sure the justice system don't really care much about those things. However, one argument that some legal brains are making is the defending lawyers for Dr. Nadipa should not find it that tough or difficult to defend her and let her off the hook because they argue that if they can convince the court that Dr. Nandipa was forced and threatened to commit the crimes by Besta, who is already noted and prosecuted for similar crimes, she can be set free by the court of law, but not until they prove that to the court. And they, they further make the explanation that in case that your life as an individual is in danger, and if you don't commit the crime at that state you are forced to, you will be killed. You may be pardoned if only you are able to convince the courts to that effect. So now the burden of proof and conviction is now on the lawyers, the defending lawyers of Dr. Nandipa. That is what some uh, legal brains are arguing over. And if that is done successfully, the prosecuting lawyers will find it very tough or difficult to prove that Dr. Nanipa did not commit those crimes under duress or forced by Bester to do so. For the records, Bester was already convicted for murder of his girlfriend in 2012 and multiple rapes and molestations of women. So if the advocates or the lawyers for Dr. Nadimpa can forcefully make that argument, I think if the court is in favor of them, they can get some good outcome when it gets to that issue. But for now, their case was adjourned to some point in April 2023. Some argue that it is the love of luxury that made Bester and Andipa to be arrested again because they were riding in Mercedes-Benz, which raised suspicion at the Tanzania border going into Zimbabwe. And his pictures, that first came on the internet. And the pictures came when he was about buying a fruit juice in a supermarket. Some also argue that if really you want to run away, why do you have to go to a supermarket to go and buy a fruit juice? Why not go to a ghetto somewhere? But all these ones are just academic exercises. Now, a day after they arrived, Tabo Besta was also taken to court for the necessary processes. He was already a convicted criminal, but still have some new charges to answer. And interestingly, in the court, Bester wanted to address the court himself, but the judge refused, though by the laws of South Africa, he can do so. However, through his lawyers, he made a complaint that he hasn't eaten for the past days because he is scared that he will be poisoned and requested that only his lawyers should provide him food. 
<laughs> that sounds like a bigger of choice, but he has rights. He has rights to make some demands. And South Africa is so good when it comes to their legal system, so he has those rights to make those choices. He also further made a choice and uh, demanded that he doesn't feel safe in the maximum prison he was kept the previous night and wanted to be transferred to a different preferred prison. Wow, that's so good. And he is a veteran when it comes to uh, criminality and criminal activities and the justice system. So he knows what to demand for. And moreover, when he was in jail, he enjoyed a lot of privileges as a lot of things came out that he was even partying and even jamming when, and going in and out, going on a date with the, the girlfriend who is now in the host waters with him to hotels to go and sleep over, though he was in prison. He also demanded to see his extradition papers from Tanzania and was of the view that he was given a wrong identification number. In fact, one baffling thing is, there is no record of Tabo Vesta with the South African authorities. Meanwhile, South Africa seems to have some good database for their citizens, but nothing serious is on Tabo Besta in the, the, the system for the South African authorities, which is very strange. He seems not to have a birth certificate and identification cards, but holds a lot of bank cards in his name for his transactions. That is a very mysterious person. Both lawyers addressed the court, and the court adjourned for him to reappear somewhere in May. Host Dr. Nadipa and others will reappear in April. The question on the lips of many is, what at all will compel a medical doctor to ditch her marriage and two beautiful children and choose to be with a hardened criminal and be in a hot waters now? But her own brother has some answers. Please kindly subscribe to this channel, One Forum News, for the best analysis on politics, crime, security, and historical facts. Thank you so much. Stay in touch.